Chapter 3 Everybody had heard about the meteor that was coming our way. They said we'd even be able to see it flash across the sky from here. I looked out of my bedroom window and imagined Jupiter frowning down on me, disappointed that I'd lost my latest battle. Jupiter was king of the sky and thunder. He held lightning in his bare hands, ready to hurl it at anybody who annoyed him. I wondered if he threw meteors too. I imagined Jupiter resting his chin on his fist. Where's the show then? he grumbled. Where are all the gladiators? My little sister Molly came into the bedroom and stood beside me by the window. She pressed her head against the pane and looked up at the empty sky. Is the media coming? she said. No, not yet, I said. Miss Pardo's ginger cat was in the road, though, and I watched to see if it was going to Grizzly's trash can. What are you looking at, then? Millie said. I picked her up and sat her on the windowsill. Look, watch its shadow. The cat trotted through the beams of the streetlights. It's a small cat. Now it's growing and growing. Now it's huge. The shadow shrunk and grew, shrunk and grew again as the animal trotted along the pavement. It's pretending to be a lion. It is? She gasped. The cat slunk along, pressed tight against the wall, its tail swinging and twitching. It's stalking, catching prey, I whispered, making it all dramatic. Millie's eyes were wide. You mean it's chasing a mouse, but actually it's pretending to go catch a hippopotamus? I don't know why she said hippopotamus. Well, yeah, but probably an antelope or zebra, that kind of thing. It's like real but not real, she said. And magical. I smiled. The cat disappeared over a wall. Millie sighed. Will you come downstairs now? We're all waiting. Hang on a minute, I said. I thought I'd show her the helmet and see what she thought. See if she could imagine it too. Close your eyes a second. I can't close my eyes. She said dead serious. Why not? When I do, I keep seeing meteor and it scares me. What's going to happen to us? Nothing's going to happen, I said. It's just going to burn bright for a minute and then it'll be gone. It'll be pretty. You'll like it. Really? Then she leaned over and whispered, Tell me the truth. Do you love your new sneakers the best? I looked down at my feet, turned out my ankles. I help pick them, she said, staring at my feet too. Millie was only six. I couldn't tell her I was disappointed I didn't get a new bike. They are the absolute best sneakers ever, I told her. I put on my Roman helmet with fierce eye holes and terrifying square mouth and a curved crest on the top, now held up with sticky tape. Tell me the truth. Do I look like a gladiator? No, because I know it's you. <laughs> Millie giggled. Now come on, we've got a treat. Cool sneakers, eh, son? Dad said from the sofa, taking up two spaces as usual. He spread his hands out towards the coffee table. We've got all your favorites, plus secret ingredient on the chicken. He winked and chuckled. Garlic, Mom said with a knowing nod and went out to the kitchen. Chocolate, Millie said. Could it be chocolate? Jelly, Christy said. I think it's jelly. We did this every time, tried to guess what the extra special flavor was. We'd probably guessed right a long time ago, but Dad would never tell. What do you think, Leo, my little dreamer? What's your best birthday guess? I shrugged. I don't know. Leo doesn't know much about anything except from playing gladiators, Christy said. Don't you think it's a bit babyish playing pretend games? No wonder you've only got one dorky friend. Christy had loads of friends, and everyone liked her, but they didn't know how mean she could be sometimes. I think it's lovely, Mom said, before Christy and me could argue, although gladiators were not lovely. She was coming back from the kitchen with my birthday cake. It was all lit up and ready to blow out. Here we are. Dad made it specially. Three sponge layers oozed chocolate cream with a load of candles all spilled over on top. Awesome. It's your birthday cake. You can have it first, Mom said. Can I as well? Christy said. I'm the oldest. And me? Millie said. Well, I'll have a big piece of cake first, Dad grinned. 
Are you going to make a wish? Millie said. I blew out the candles, thinking it was a long time until next year to get a new bike. 